Hey everyone, this is Ross, and we've been going around today just highlighting different different fig varieties that I grow and kind of talking about them and why they're so special. We have so many varieties here, over 200 that I'm growing here on the patio alone. Um, and I just feel obligated to talk about a few things, a few varieties. This is called Galicia Negra. I'm sure the pronunciation's off a little bit on that. But this is a, a fig, I think, from Spain. And it's a fig that I quite like. I'm starting to really like these Black Mission type figs. So I'm gonna pick this now. Um, you can tell it's got this nice cracking to it, nice skin. It doesn't really get handled, you know, it doesn't really get subject to manipulation too much. Quite, honestly, it could be quite a commercial fig. It's got nice size to it, as all of these do. It seems quite productive. They're all ripening at the same time, which is, seems to be actually a very valuable characteristic. However, it does seem quite late. I have other, um, other black mission types. I'm gonna put this one down called Fico Nita, and I also have one called Nalaga. Um, Nita is of course from um, Sardinia. And if I bring you guys over here, you can see kind of what I'm talking about. Here's a very similar shape. We got the same cracking in the skin, the same coloration. I think what I'm gonna do is actually pick this. We've got similar leaves to it. Typical black mission style leaf, let's pick it. And they're just pretty good figs, honestly. Um, Fico Nita has not been that impressive so far. But here's another one, the Laga. You can tell here's the, pretty much the exact same leaf we just looked at. And here you can see some figs down here. But what I've been impressed with the most in terms of the Fico Nita is that it's actually quite early, it seems like. However, the Galicia Negra seems to have a much better flavor Definitely a different fig. You know, they're not all created equal. I'm gonna just put you guys down here in a minute. They have a similar-ish flavor. Not exactly the same. But Calicia Negra, I think, is just a better, it's a better fig. And they're all ripening at the same time, which is really, I think, um, impressive. You know, I'd rather have a shorter ripening window. Fico Nita, I wouldn't need to give this a head start and it would ripen in a, luck, a much wider period. And I, th I think that would just not be beneficial. They seem to all do pretty well with rain. Well, actually that's not true. Fico Nita seems to split. Galicia Negra seems to split only slightly. Um, I don't know, I think we're just having a good year for Galicia Negra right now in terms of when it's ripening and all that jazz. Let me open these, this up for you guys and you can see exactly what I'm kind of referring to here. Well, you're not going to really think that these are very similar figs because the Galicia Negra is just far superior to Fico Nita. I mean, look how dark red that is. You can tell, big acnes, large acnes, in large quantity. It's going to be a very juicy, meaty fig. Um, let's taste them, guys. Let's do a nice little comparison. I think Nalaga is quite good. Uh, this fig Nalaga that I have from my buddy Wills in Florida, he really likes it, and uh, to me, it reminds me a lot of a Black Mission type, and it's got a nice caramel flavor in there. Um, but it doesn't seem that productive, and it, it, uh, a lot of these Black Mission types, unfortunately, take a while to really get going. They take a number of years before they'll fruit well. Uh, this is my third or even fourth year with Galicia Negra, and this is the first year I'm getting any fruit. Let's try the Nita first. Not bad. Oh my God. Galicia Negra is just in a class of its own, guys. Yeah, this is a really nice fig. Um, I'm impressed. I really am. Very soft. Very dense. Even though it has these big acnes to it. The flavor isn't bad either. It's a huge fig. It's a really like a medium to large size fig that I grow. 
It's really got some nice uh, mouthfeel to it, some nice texture. The flavor is probably like a 3.5 out of five, but because it has a nice texture, I have to, I have to give this fig a four, a four out of five. This is really impressive. The intensity of the berry is not what you ex expect, even though it's got such a dark purple pulp to it almost. It's really quite good. That's a fig worth having. And I actually was kind of hyped up about it myself. And then as we got closer to actually it ripening, I really kind of was a bit discouraged and really not looking forward to it that much. But that's really nice. Um, so that's Galicia Negra, guys. Um, just wanted to do that little review for you guys on the special, specific varieties. Show you guys why I like them so much. And, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys soon. If you enjoyed these little taste test videos that we've been doing on these varieties, share them with someone you know who grows figs. Thanks ahead of time. We'll talk to you guys soon and uh, take care.